YouTube. How's everybody doing? This is Silver Husky. I uh, hope everybody's having a, a great, great afternoon. It is Friday. Everybody's off at work. So that's always nice. Uh, so um, if you're just popping into the chat right now, um, just want to say hi to everybody. Um, I went to a coin shop today. I uh, went out into, into town and it was a uh, it was a pretty pretty quiet day out there. I was almost like walking through a ghost town, like post-apocalyptic, uh, kind of like a Walking Dead scenario. But there was nobody out in town, nobody out and about. Uh, but I went into the coin shop, and uh, it's the same coin shop I've been to before. It's in a little town called Johnson City, um, out on the east side of Tennessee. And uh, I'll say that the gentleman that was in there, last time I was in there, he was a lot friendlier. Uh, I don't know if maybe I just caught him on a bad day. You never know. Uh, hey, Green Husky, how's it going? Darth Stacker, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Coin Silver, what's going on? Good to see you. Uh, but yeah, it, it was. Um, I was just, I was just speaking on uh, going out into a local coin shop where the the gentleman was a lot friendlier the previous time that I went. Uh, this time he just it was kind of cold. You know, I, I even asked him, you know, do you have any uh, 2020 proof sets or silver proof sets? For sale because I'd like to buy one and he says no I'm not selling them and I was like what and he says yeah I get I get actually more for them if I break them up into individual coins and sell them that way and I said so you won't sell me a proof set he said no <laughs> I was like okay kind of dumbfounded I really wanted to pick one up um, but yeah it was like the walking dead out there it was empty um, the, the whole town that whole part of town it was like downtown and uh, everything was closed there was like one guy sweeping the sidewalk, but other than that, no cars or anything. Um, hi, Jesse Jade. Good to see you. Um, just wanted to show you that after I left the coin shop, you know, I was actually planning on filming. You know, I, I think as a content provider and you know, anybody in here that is a content provider, hey, um, Darth Stacker, uh, why are most coin shop owners jerks? You know, I don't find that to be always true, but I have found that either they are or they aren't. There's usually no gray area. Um, I've seen some that are just total buttholes, or sorry, buttheads. Total buttheads. Uh, I don't know where that came from. That's not like me. Total buttheads. And then other ones that are like super friendly, really cool, and just so down to earth and informative. Uh, but in this case, so uh, a, a content provider, right? A, anybody who makes videos for YouTube. I think what they're constantly trying to do or what we're constantly trying to do is look for every opportunity to make a video, right? To capture a moment uh, and then share the moment. So what I was doing was I was out in town, I was filming really good footage too and you know, expecting that the guy would be all supportive of, hey, free advertisement, heck yeah, you can film my store. But the guy wasn't having it, so all good. Um, I left there. And right across the street there was a pawn shop so I said you know what let me check out this pawn shop and see what they've got and uh, here you can see the one thing that I picked up and, uh, and I'll show you guys I'll bring it in a little bit closer so you can see it but it says it's an 1861 Confederate copy right 50 cents it says right on there Confederate copy um, but but here's what it was this was a uh, 50 cent seated Liberty and it's pretty awesome nosematic what's going on man good to see you and uh, the backside's different right the backside does not have the Eagle the way the seated Liberty does the back right side actually says Confederate States of America half dollar and right here on the side you can almost barely see it but it says copy so I thought that was a pretty cool uh, piece I did a little bit of research on it turns out that this is one of the better versions of a copy coin. Um, my understanding is this coin was so, the, the real one, was so sparsely produced, I guess would be the right word, like the quantity is so low that you won't even find it in a red book or anything like that. It's almost considered priceless. This and the pennies, right? So they had, um, or the cents, they had the, uh, the Confederate half dollars and Confederate cents, and they're really hard to find. So. Um, one in almost any kind of a decent condition would be in like the thousand dollar mark and above uh, but in this case you know this is just a little uh, copy piece but I thought it looked pretty neat it was a nice seated Liberty and on the back I've not seen that before so I actually think it may be doing a nice little um, uh, nice little giveaway out of this or something maybe I'll do that on the live stream tomorrow by the way guys for anybody who's in the 
in the chat right now. Um, if you haven't hit like already, please hit like. But also know that uh, I do have a giveaway live stream going on tomorrow. I'll probably do it in the afternoon, right? Um, we have the 500 subscriber giveaway that closes tonight at midnight. So if you're watching this and you haven't already um, entered, go ahead and enter. Uh, but I'm considering maybe giving that one away, maybe giving a couple other pieces away. Actually, let me get those pieces out just to show you guys what will be given away. Um, so I have to find them first. Huh? This is showing you how unprepared I am in any given moment. All right, so here we go. So I keep these in a separate pouch because I want to keep them safe. But um, so for anybody who's not been in one of my live streams before or anybody who's looking to potentially uh, you know win something tomorrow yes lol taco muffin I'm hungry now me too uh, I actually made a taco muffin um, I'll show you guys real quick check that out that is my taco English muffin right because I didn't want to actually put taco meat into like a sweet muffin so I figured English muffin let me toast this thing let me stuff some you know sauteed chicken and uh, some avocado and cheese and it actually came out pretty good so uh, do a gaw for that brick yeah maybe you know what if I if I got to like 25,000 subs which isn't out of the question right you see people like um, oh I don't know uh, silver dragons just hit like 32,000 right so if I got to like 25,000 subs I would totally do a giveaway that was big like that and you think about that um, that is uh, what do we got this is a hundred ounce bar let me get rid of that real quick. So this is a 100 ounce bar. Uh, currently, so I bought it at 17.10 an ounce, right? So it was $1,710 for this bar. Um, and currently they're going for about uh, 20, 28, I think, depending on whatever spot is at the very second. So yes, with silver sauce, looks delicious. It was all right, actually. I kind of like the uh, soft corn taco, or soft corn tortillas better. Um, but anyway, so, the giveaways, uh, let's talk about that. So the um, there's three giveaways. I've got to go back into the video that I posted to see which one's going to be for which. But this one, one of them is going to be either for the comment video or for the, uh, this one's for the, anyone who did a shout out. So one and one, depending on which one you entered for. So here we have a 1989 Maple Leaf. This is the Young Head Queen Elizabeth. And uh, it's in great condition, still in the original Royal Canadian Mint um, packaging, little wrapper, so it's kind of cool. And um, yeah, and then you got this one, which is the uh, Kangaroo, Australian Kanga, um, and that's a pretty neat one too. Uh, let me see what year this one is. That looks like it's a 2019, so this is actually a pretty new one. But yeah, those are going to be those two. Um, then we did have the other portion of the giveaway. Uh, 2449 spot yeah so the bar is at least uh, 24 uh, 2400 bucks right 24 and some change uh, add into that the premium behind the bar I know that uh, right now uh, Scottsdale selling them a lot more than that but dibs on the maple I need just 12 maples to finish my tube yeah I hear you man I got a lot of tubes of maple so it's good stuff so here is the uh, the other piece and I actually even put it in a little flip and wrote some cool stuff the Silver Husky 500 subscriber giveaway on that, and we have uh, Code Breakers Prize. If you can see, you gotta squint a little bit, but if you can see that, that is 0.85 grams of gold right there. It's a pretty little piece, and it is meant to look like the Saint Gaudens, right? And here you have the Lady Liberty walking, walking on sunshine, right? And that side you got the eagle. So this is a beautiful piece. I picked up a few of them. So this one I'm going to be giving away. Um, and you still have till midnight if you've not solved the uh, the puzzles. And I know a couple people in this chat have. So it's good to see you guys. TJ Hunt stuff, good to see you. Uh, Nosematic, can you make maple syrup from all those maples? You probably could. Uh, hold on, let me get my glasses. Yeah, you got to zoom in real you make me maybe a microscope. Just get, put it on the Jumbotron and you might be able to see this thing. Um, just got my first maple as a gift the other day. Pretty new to stacking, but I have been able to get a good variety over the last few months. That's awesome. TJ Hunt stuff, that's 
That's incredible, man. Keep it, keep, keep being excited about it, and you're gonna f watch your stack grow big time. Uh, but yeah, it is a pretty piece, and I do, I do love it. Thank you, uh, Jesse Jade. Um, but yeah, it, this will go to whoever, one of the myriad of people who have cracked the code. And I actually had somebody crack it again uh, last last night, like 2 a.m. They sent me an email. Really interesting way that the guy solved the riddle. And um, and I'm going to be featuring the photo he sent me uh, as a, I guess, kind of as a uh, uh, showcase when I go through how all the riddles are solved and things like that. So I thought it was a bunch of fun. Robert Worley, good to see you. Um, let's see. All right, TJ. Don't know what it what it is about maples. They're just a leaf, but I want them. Yeah, you know, I like the maples a lot too. Maybe it's the fact that they have four nines, kind of like what the Perth Mint produces. Uh, nothing against what you know our mint in, here in the U.S. produces. I think we produce some beautiful coinage as well. But there is something special about four nines. So in the chat, um, not going to do it today, or maybe I will. I'm not going to tell you, but uh, definitely tomorrow in the. 500 subscriber giveaway live stream. Uh, if you're in the chat, you have a chance to win uh, one or several of these, and these are uh, Merc Dimes. Uh, you can kind of see them in a rollback, but yeah. Anyways, I got you know maybe about buck fifty in Merc Dimes, maybe two bucks right there. So I'm gonna give away a bunch of these. I don't know exactly how many, but they're gonna be given out randomly in the chat. I'll just be asking questions to the chat, and uh, as the the chat responds to them. Um, I will maybe select. It, what I what I don't like doing is I don't like selecting first to respond, right? So if I ask a question like, uh, I don't know, name a fruit, and you say pineapple, um, if the first person says pineapple, uh, chances are they just have way better internet connection than most people, and I find that that happens a lot. So something I like to do is, or I've seen people do it too, is like, okay, fifth person to say. Uh, you know, whatever the uh, I don't know the best the best state in America that I'm thinking of, right? Like, or my favorite state, or whatever. So if you get it right, then you uh, the fifth person to get it right gets a dime or gets a couple dimes or something. So, anyways, that way it's a little bit more fair to the people who maybe have slower connection speed or maybe even carry a lag on their computer because I know very often my phone or computer does carry a lag too. So I want it to be more fair for everybody. So, uh, Ali Broder. Uh, good to see you, TJ Hunt stuff. I'm waiting my first ASC to come in the mail. I have some constitutional coming in and some other stuff. No maples yet. I'm looking for the deals though. You betcha. Yeah, and you know if you win, you will get a maple. And if you win in the chat, you will get some constitutional. So that's cool stuff. I'll be shipping that stuff out during the week next week. So um, let me know for the ones who actually. If there's anybody in the chat, I see there's 15 people in the room, which is awesome. Uh, and, and no, it's not Florida. Uh, good guess, though. No, it's not New York either. Good guess. Um, so for for the people in the room, uh, crap, I forgot my question. <laughs> see what y'all did. You guys made my brain slippery this Friday afternoon. I'm just happy it's Friday and I'm done with work for the day. Uh, yeah, pineapple juice is good stuff. Uh, so now I remember. If anybody in the chat, and I see there's 15 of you, don't forget to hit like. Anybody in the chat who actually did the code breaker and completed it, uh, let me know how, just in the chat, you don't have to give an answer or anything like that, just let me know how difficult do you feel that they were. Do you feel that they were appropriately difficult, like hard enough to, to earn a piece of gold? Or was it, could it have been uh, maybe too hard? Did you work too hard at it and you feel like you wasted your time? Um, nope, not Montana, not Nevada. Uh, Hawaiian pineapple, LOL. Yeah, Hawaiian, Hawaii's cool. I haven't been there yet. Um, okay, I'll give you guys a hint. It's Virginia. Virginia's my home state. That's that's where my uh, my, my uh, roots run deep in that state. So, uh, anyways, Johnny Reese, what's going on, man? Jonathan Reese, guys, say hi to him. He's a good guy. Um, he's he's kind of like the welcome committee in in most live streams. So just a friendly, friendly guy. Um, Nick Sargassi, uh, Aztec Gold, good to see ya. Uh, let's see. Wasn't able to follow. So Robert Worley, I'm guessing you couldn't find the the uh, the the hidden clues. So I'm gonna be doing that just so you guys know for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which right now I'm at 600, so I got a little ways to go. But probably within the next month, 
I may drop one or two or three videos with a puzzle in them. And I got the idea originally from, uh, let's see, it's wonderful downtown Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You know what? I'll be not far from South Carolina here in a couple weeks. I'm going to uh, Sunset Beach uh, on North Carolina side. Um, yeah, Darth, Darth Stacker, you're right. Uh, but I got the idea for these puzzles from International Stacker. He did one video, I don't know, six months ago or so, and only four people cracked it, maybe one of you in the chat. But it was basically um, you had to solve a code, a message, uh, and it was for some number sequence that... Uh, I guess old Russian spies used to use this signal. Really, really crazy, like deep stuff that me and my daughter spent all night trying to crack that. So I think if we do win that prize when he finally does his mega, when we do win that prize, um, I'll probably give it to my daughter because she helped me out a lot. So let's see. Ali Broder says, I love Virginia Blue Ridge Mountains and Skyline Drive. Yeah, that's a beautiful part. I actually grew up right outside of DC um, in Northern Virginia. Uh, Jonathan Reese couldn't find the puzzles. Yeah, they were hidden. They were hidden really well. Uh, but if you watched every video, there's people that spotted it that were like, what the heck is this stuff? Like, this, you're, you're sneaking in subliminal messages, but actually those were the puzzles. Uh, so they stumbled upon them but didn't know what to do with them. Um, yes, Jonathan Reese is everywhere. I feel like he has multiple accounts potentially, and maybe he can clone himself and jump into this, like several chats at the same time. Kayla, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, let's see. So, what's that I hear? You're a Russian spy? <laughs> Silver Trooper? No, I'm not. If anything, everything I learned was from International Stacker. Um, he's, he's maybe the Russian spy. I'm not sure. Not saying he is. I'm just saying he's, he's, uh, he's into that stuff. So, kind of piqued my interest on those, uh, ARGs, the alternate reality games. But, um, yeah, just call me Nick. I didn't know you were a butcher. Uh, you sure butchered my last name. Uh, Sagarese. Sagarese. Is it Sagarasi? Sagarasi? Maybe? Let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I really, I really, I feel bad when I butcher people's names because I know that, like, your name means so much to you and mine means a lot to me, too. So, you know, if somebody called me instead of saying Silver Husky, they called me, like, I don't know, like uh, aluminum husky. I'd be pretty. I'd, I'd take it personal too. So, so, I hope you forgive me, Nick Sagarase. Maybe. I hope that's right. Um, yes, Nosematic with the crabs, good stuff. And uh, Old Man Jenkins too. Darth, not everyone. King Crab is always watching. Seriously, always the Crab Nation or the Crustacean Nation, as he calls it. Uh, Sagarise. Sagarise. Is that right? Sagarise. I hope I hope I'm I'm not throwing in accent where it doesn't need to belong. So, <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah, okay, guys. So this is this is gonna be this is gonna be it, right? Um, I hope you guys win it. I hope I hope whoever entered into it. I kind of wish everybody could win it, but uh, wanna wanna ask you guys something. Are you guys buying eagles right now? And with the spot price, with the current spot price, what do you think is a good price for eagles? Or what are you finding that your local coin shop is charging for them and I'll give you a reason why so when I went into this uh, this coin shop to buy this guys for those of you just popping in the chat this is a 1861 Confederate half dollar seated Liberty half dollar but it is a copy right you see up here it says copy and you can see there goes my butterfingers uh, you can see the copy on the back side right here next to it looks like a beehive or a beanie I'm not sure maybe it's a, a hat if you're from the Carolinas, you call it a toboggan, but uh, I'm not sure. But it says copy right there, so it's not the real deal. Uh, but while I was in that um, that pawn shop, they had eagles, and I looked at the pricing on their eagles, and I had to tell them, "Hey guys, uh, you know spot price is right about what you're charging right now, and it's a pawn shop. Usually pawn shops are like outrageous with their prices, but they were like, you know, we can't sell them. We had them at, and get this." They had them at 30 bucks and they couldn't get a buyer. So now they're at 25 and they have a whole bunch. Um, uh, Nosematics, I don't know. I don't know when it was copied. Uh, I know that they ended up doing restrikes and then after the restrikes they made uh, further copies. So the original and the restrikes are worth a lot and these uh, copies are, they're worth some, probably a handful of dollars. Uh, maybe I even overpaid at 20, I'm not sure. But, uh, but I will say that 
if anybody in here is looking to buy Eagles, let's see. Adam Stack says, I'll buy any Eagles if they're under 27, but no way I'll find it under that. LCS got them for $7 over spot. Interesting. I'm going to tell you the price I got here in just a second. Uh, I never got... I never got into the Eagles. My LCS, LCS sells them for 30 last Thursday. Uh, my poison is just as bad. Libertas, yeah, Libertas have crazy premiums on them. Uh, Maples have high premiums too. They do, but it's actually not as much as ASEs do uh, because they're not as liquid in the States. Um, I think mine are charging 30 for ASEs. Buy at 25, definitely not 30. Okay, so yeah, Jesse J said, Jade says 33 at my LCS. Um, okay, so this guy was, or they had him out again. They had him for 30, couldn't sell him at 30. They were selling him at 25, somewhere like 24.99, and I was like, is this is this right? Like, is your pricing right? They said, yeah, we can't offload him. So for anybody who's in the chat right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna do you a solid. I'm going to pass on their phone number to you and maybe you can call them if they if you're really looking to buy at 25 cuz I think uh, this is just call it a hunch. I feel like silver's about to jump. Um, obviously it's late in the day today. We're sitting at 2445 and I think that's going to hold throughout the weekend, but I, I believe next week is where you're going to see silver rise and there's going to come a time when you're going to be like, "Man, I remember when silver was under 25 and I wish I'd have bought. I wish I'd have bought a lot more." Because it's gonna it's gonna go up, right? And I think that's why we're all here. We all understand that we're, we're not we're not goofballs. We're not dummies. So, uh, with that said, I'm gonna pass on their phone number. Uh, they again, they're on Market Street in Johnson City. So if you are in Tennessee, you can probably go pick them up yourself. And if not, maybe you can call them and work out a deal where they might ship them to you. Uh, phone number, if you got pen and paper, write that down. It's four two three nine two six. Nine four six one. So let's see. You can see it right there at the very top. Just leave it there for a second. Let you guys see it. I like to pass on deals. Uh, one other deal for anybody who is into pandas. Yeah, five 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 Ghostbusters. That's good stuff, man. Um, hold on. I have a few ASCs, but uh, one was a silver pull from a live stream. That's cool. Uh, one's a slabbed. Nice. Got it on eBay. And hey, if you got a slab one for 27, you're doing good, man. That's awesome. Uh, under 27 at a LCS. Maples are not too bad. I can get maples for four bucks over spot. Yeah, that's true. That's about what I get three to four bucks over spot. Um, gotta hurry up. I'm, I'm taking all of them. Good. Do it. Do it. Uh, and tell them Silver Husky sent you. If you call them, just let them know. Guy was in the shop earlier today. He bought your Confederate copy coin and he gave us your number. Uh, Silver Husky on YouTube, make sure you go check them out, right? I, I give you a lead, you give me a lead, so that'd be awesome. Uh, have a bunch on sale for $25 an ounce, that's cool. Are you in Johnson City? My friend went to ETSU, it's a be it's beautiful there. Yeah, it is beautiful, uh, but I'm only here for about four or five more days, then we're going to the Carolinas, uh, visit some family there. Uh, yeah, even when spot hits 30, I'm sure would take... Uh, I'm sure I would even feel good buying ASCs at 30 or 31. Just having a hard time transitioning to these higher prices. Me too. It's a mental thing, right? Hey, you said it. It's a mental thing. Anyone want to sell me a reverse proof maple? Yeah, sell me one too. I love those. Uh, but what I was um, what I was getting at is if you're into pandas, I'm not sure that any of you guys are into pandas, but if you are, uh, my dealer in Florida has them for a really good price. So if you're in the Boca Raton area or if you want to call the guy up, uh, his name's Gary, I'll give you his number too. Uh, but he's selling these 2008s, which that's, remember that 2015 is their last year uh, when they made them at actually one troy ounce. Then they switched to 30 grams straight. Uh, so they actually shaved off a little bit of that silver uh, 2016 and beyond. So these are 2008s, much harder to find. Uh, you're gonna find them on eBay. Actually, let's let's look at that price on eBay. I want to give you an accurate quote um, for a 2008 Panda. All right. So what I'm saying is, I like to pass on a good deal when I get it. If somebody if somebody tells me about a good deal and I'm not the one purchasing it, I want to be able to pass it on to you guys. So here's what I got on eBay. Right. Uh, the first one is a you know sponsored, but it says buy it now. And that one is selling at 56 bucks. The next one below that is for 50, uh, and then this one that's still in current bidding, it's going for 32. 
and it still has uh, a little bit of time left on it. It's got a, a day left on it, so it'll probably jump up towards the end. It's looking like they're they're all right around 50 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks is the going rate. So my guy is asking 42, right? So 42 per um, per panda, a 2008, and he's got sheets of them. He said he bought 400. I think he's already sold 10. One of my friends on uh, Instagram ended up picking up 10 of those. But this is what this is what I do, right? I'm not trying to make a profit. I'm just trying to pass on a good deal to you guys. So if you guys see any value in picking up some 2008 pandas, you can call Gary up, tell him I sent you, and I think that uh, it would definitely be um, beneficial for for him. And of course, I like to pass on a good deal to you guys. So. Uh, Gary's number again. This is that um, uh, coin gallery of Boca Raton, coin and jewelry gallery of Boca Raton. His number is five six one five two six six one seven four. And again, please tell him Silver Husky sent you, uh, and then that way he knows that he knows that you came for me. So he'll give you that good deal, and he won't mark him up any higher than that. Um, he he may even. He may be even willing to take a little bit off. And of course, he does ship. So if you don't live in Florida, no worries. He can send it to you. Uh, but here, here's the value, I think, of having a solid relationship with your coin guy is you help him out, he'll help you out. Uh, and he'll never rip you off if you got a good guy. right? So thanks, thankfully, I do. right? I do have a really good coin guy that I trust. So uh, make sure you guys find one. So let's see what we got. Gonna start, uh, gonna start process of getting on disability this weekend. Found, uh, found out I can do it online. Jonathan Reese, that's good stuff, man. Um, I, I did it through the VA. That's good stuff. GI Reese, thank you, Trooper. Uh, I'm proud of you for, uh, for, what's that? For the last year, uh, leg getting worse. So inhale to do something. Um, what's good time space on constitutional? Okay, I don't know if anybody's responded to that. Uh, time space on constitutional right now, I think if you're, this is just me, you guys can say whatever whatever you want, but I think if you're finding it under uh, 18, uh, you're doing okay. Uh, if it's below like 17.5, you're doing pretty good, and I think if you can find it below 17, uh, that's, that's a pretty good deal, at least right now. If spot goes down, then obviously that changes. Um, what about the $25 ASE? I didn't get in. I couldn't find a pen. Uh, I got an ASC for 27 bucks each all day long. That's good stuff. Um, what else we got? Thank you, Silver Trooper. All right. Bradley's Coin Raid. What? <laughs> Bradley, good to see you, man. Thanks for joining the chat. Uh, Bradley, I think I think you and some of your uh, watchers, some of your subscribers are into pandas so I just kinda gave a little bit of a shout out to my guy in Florida and uh, and he's get he's got these 2008's really really great opportunity for flipping and stuff like that um, check him out and uh, and give him a shout let him know that uh, that Silver Husky sent you and see if you want to pick up a couple of those uh, pandas if he can work out a deal with you I think it'd be a good thing um, Kayla good to see you I think uh, you're heading out or maybe you headed out already Dart Stacker, no, we have not done a sticker trade. I'm definitely open to doing that. If you uh, want to send me an email, my email is in, typically in all of my descriptions. Probably not in this one yet. Uh, I'll update it later. Um, let's see. Old Man Jenkins. Right now, spots almost 18 times face. Yes, so again, if you can get it at 18, you're doing all right. 17.5, you're doing really good. And 17, you're, you're stealing, stealing silver, so that's awesome. Have an extra Carson City seated Liberty Restrike and metal set from 150 sesquis. <laughs> Nosmatic, you had to throw in a, a big word. Sesquicentennial. Blah. 2020. Gonna list it on eBay soon. Also did a video on those. Awesome. Guys, go check out Nosmatics if you get a chance. Uh, let's see. Jimmy Lacari, what's going on? And nice. Thank you for the raid. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on this chat. I want to make sure. Okay, Dart Stacker says 18, eight, 19 is the going rate uh, for spot. Can't find under 20. Adam Stacks, you know what? Go on Facebook. Join some of those Facebook groups. Uh, there's even like junk silver groups. I, I promise you, you can find something on there. You can find junk silver. There's people selling Mercs 
for like, I don't know, 17.5 on there, they're taking under spot because they just want to unload inventory. Uh, so I would I would recommend check Facebook. Uh, Bradley's Coins does the mat go to does the mat go to U.S. Silver because I'm still confused. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, 1825, not too bad for my LCS. Awesome. Hey, thank you, AG Chopsticks. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for popping in the chat. Um, got really hurt in the leg. Yeah, everybody. Jonathan Reese. I hope you feel better, man. I hope uh, hope you have a good, strong recovery here in the in the next couple of uh, months and stuff. Because that's uh, all right. S Max asking, what was the price on the pandas? So he's quoting about forty two per panda. They're going on eBay, brand new or not brand new, but in capsule, right at two thousand eight. They're going for between fifty and sixty. Fifty and sixty five is what I saw on eBay. So. He's about 10 to 15 bucks under eBay pricing for those 2008s, and he's got about 400. So give him a call if you need the number. I can definitely give that to you again. Got some silver in the mail. Woo -woo. All right, officially started my stack. Good job, Ali. Uh, man, I'm only four to five rosies away from filling a tube. That's cool, man. I didn't bring any rosies with me. Otherwise, I'd maybe do, do some giveaways with that. I'd give you a, a choice of rosie or merc. Um, but I do have these mercs. I, I love me some mercs. Let's spill them out real quick, right? Look at that. Boom. Love me some Mercs. Coin Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Uh, only halfway full of Merc tubes. Hey, that would fill up your other Merc tube right there. Um, just talked to Albert's shop, told him, uh, you sent me $25 a pop. Going to try to work something out next week with shipping. Hey, really? You did? That is, I, I didn't know you would actually call them. That's so cool that you called them. And, uh, and I'm really glad that they answered. Uh, I don't know if they remembered me. I was just in there this morning. So I uh, had to buy silver for 40 to $42 an ounce. New to stacking. Silver started uh, a couple months ago. Now I own 11 ounces of physical silver. Uh, I feel like it's a bit much, but I'm confident that silver will reach double digits. Uh, trapped in my psyche. Uh, thanks for joining us in the chat. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and the like button. Uh, I will say that 40 to 42 is a good price if you're buying high premium stuff but as a new stacker i like to recommend people try to get stuff that's very well recognized and at a decent rate that's close to spot so if you don't know what spot price is let's uh let's do a little quick uh video right we're not video we're gonna do we're gonna do this real quick all right you guys bear with me um let's go to jam bullion all right so we'll go down to silver spot price right you guys can see this okay so here we got the silver spot price uh, 24 hour it's showing right now we're quoting at 24.40 an ounce so spot price what I would say is you don't want to go too much over about five bucks an ounce where we're at right now and the only reason we're even at five bucks over spot right so I'm talking like 29.40 right if you're buying bullion like American Silver Eagles or Maples or whatever you don't want to go too much over four bucks over spot and the reason we're even at four bucks over spot right now is because supply is limited people are hanging on uh, expecting that silver is going to go up much higher when things are settled when everything kind of like levels off spot price is typically a lot lower American Silver Eagles you can typically find them for three dollars over spot Maples for like a buck fifty to two dollars over spot so Keep an eye out for that. You know, don't don't go overboard um, because the the whole key is, with stacking is to stack as much as you can, right? So if you go on to Appmex, right, their best sellers are typically always going to be their American Silver Eagles, and you can see they have them for thirty five bucks an ounce. And I'm not saying anything negative about Appmex because hey, they're there to make a profit, right? But if you're paying thirty five bucks an ounce when you're buying in bulk. You're actually going to be, and that's only at, that's when you buy in bulk, right? That's at a thousand plus. So you got to buy two monster boxes to get it at this price, right? If you buy one to nineteen of them, you're paying thirty-seven. So that's actually more like what, like thirteen, twelve, thirteen bucks over spot right now. So you don't want to do that because that is a huge ripoff. And the, the point is, when you do start buying in quantity you're missing out on the potential of buying even more silver. So you find something cheaper, you can buy more of it, and you can stack on a whole lot more weight. So that is more or less what you really want to do when it comes to stacking silver. So uh, let's see. 
luster. What an awesome sound. Silver on silver. Yes, that sound of... Right? It sounds good. Um, yeah, constitutional and ASCs are, are best, I think, for new stackers. I agree 100%. If you're just getting started, constitutional is the way to go. Um, I got an ASC for 28 last Friday. That's not bad. I thought it was an okay deal, but it still hurt. Yes, for 28, it kind of does hurt, but that, that's still, right now, that's not bad. Um, still en route to me. Very cool. All right, so I do have an unboxing, not an unboxing, but a uh, mail call today. Crazy enough, even though I'm in Tennessee, I'm far away from home, I'm still getting mail, so that's cool. It's the second package I've gotten in. I've uh, been buying $5 more than the sites. Yeah, be careful with that, man. And I'll show you guys something here in a second once I get through this uh, this unboxing. Started with call ASCs and generic. That's smart, Jonathan Reese. I think that's good too. Generic, I have some generic, but that's generally the first stuff that I'm going to get rid of when I transition everything over to gold. So, Silver Husky, do you have a system for tracking your stack? I do, and I even have a video about it. If you go onto my playlists, I'll show you where to find it, or actually maybe I'll even send it to you, but I do have a video on inventorying your stack. That is really important, especially once you, once you start getting over like 150, 200 ounces. When you're in the 1,000 ounce mark and they're not all one thing, then you're going to need to inventory it because everything carries a different premium. And it, I even have a video on how to offload your stack to loved ones, right? So one day we're going to pass away. And if your wife, kids, relatives, whoever's in the will, if they have no idea what this stuff is, they're going to take this thing to a pawn shop and give away this $2,500 bar for 80 bucks and think that they got a, a killer deal on it, right? So it's important to educate your family members, but also uh, for you yourself to know how to inventory your stack and how to prepare your family uh, with your stack, right? So that's important. So got to run. Adam Stacks, thank you for stopping by. Um, about two limited, two ounce, $10 maple leaves, uh, also which look cool. Hey, but you know what? Trapped in my psyche, if you're enjoying the purchases you make, then that's fine, right? But if you're looking to stack weight, there's a technique to that. But if you're just looking to enjoy the beauty of the coins that you buy, if you're having fun, do it, man. That's that's totally cool. Uh, because I mean, honestly, we have we have coins that we paid you know 250 for, and they're expensive, but they're beautiful. So uh, I'm going to show you guys real quickly. This one came from uh, Everyday Copportunity. This is a this actually came to a friend of a friend here in Tennessee and we got it sent to us so I'm gonna go ahead and she actually opened it up for us so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for myself and everyday opportunity if you haven't checked him out go check out his channel uh, he's actually in the middle of a giveaway right now so as am I if you haven't checked that out silver husky thank you for hanging out uh, in the channel congrats on your win All right so I was driving to Tennessee and it was about two in the morning and I had his live stream playing. This is the cool thing about having live streams at two in the morning is somebody's gonna be awake, somebody's gonna be watching. So in the middle of it, he did a like an elimination um, giveaway where he put like 50 names in the chat and every time he would spin the wheel, one of them would get dropped off. Well, I was last pick somehow. So here we go, let's check it out. Hey, how you doing? Coin Group of Minnesota, good to see you. Um, let's see, you got a, looks like he drinks energy drinks, so that's cool. Uh, but it is buried right in here, and I'm gonna sneak this sucker out. Here we go. All right, so this was a 1964D, a really cool Rosie. So that's awesome. and and. Anybody who's ever sent me anything, whether it be as a giveaway or just a gift, I always keep it. I'm never going to sell it, never going to ship it off, never going to trade it in for gold. It's got a special box, so this is going in that special box. And uh, one day I'll do a full stack of gifts video, uh, but that'll go in that one. Uh, that was a really cool one. So thank you, Everyday Opportunity, if you ever end up seeing this. And if you guys haven't checked them out, tell them Silver Husky sent you. Uh, Dark Green Marine, what's up, Rob? Raw Marine, um, I think we chatted not too long ago. I was telling you I was uh, out at Pendleton. It's, uh, that's my, my home base, even though I grew up not too far from Quantico. 
Um, all right, so one last uh, thing before I jump over to showing you guys where to get the best deals. Uh, I do want to, again, give another really awesome shout out uh, to my buddy. Um, for those of you who weren't in the chat yesterday, this guy, the Gold Spartan, uh, he made something very special for me. And, uh, and I want to share that with you guys. I'll do a, a bit more of a full reveal tomorrow, but this is the Silver Husky channel round. This is four nines fine silver. I marked it with three nines fine, or I had it marked with three nines fine, uh, just to be on the safe side. But this is four nines fine silver. It's one ounce, one troy ounce, and it is a beautiful piece. He did a wonderful job with that. So if anybody ever wants to have channel rounds made for your channel, uh, make sure you check him out. Uh, it is an awesome, awesome piece of artwork right there, but I'm very, very excited with the way it came out. Can't wait to show you guys what's on the other side. I'm not going to let you see it today, but you'll have to stay tuned to see what that is because the other side is really cool. He helped me design that. I designed the front, obviously, but he helped me design the other side. And he did it in probably an hour, which blows my mind. Um, okay, so Trapped in My Psyche says, uh, that's Silver currently sitting at 24.6. We might see 25 tonight. Uh, I don't know. It's Friday, so usually the markets close uh, right around right around now. Um, also, I'm confused with the time for the markets. Is it all week? Uh, yeah, but there's a couple closing points, and I posted a video about a week ago that shows the the times that they're closed. Uh, closing time is only 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. each day, right? Uh, that's not necessarily true. I would check my video, right? So it's uh, I think it's like everything you need to know about stacking or something like that. Um, the holder has a clip to plant it. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, sorry about my stream of Wi-Fi went out. Um, check out Hero Boolean. Okay, channel rounds. Who was it again? Okay, so for the channel rounds, that is uh, that is the Gold Spartan, the Gold Spartan. Check him out on Instagram. That's where he does a majority of his work, and he does gold and silver. He'll do whatever you want. And he makes them out of his uh, 3D printer, and then he can you know do them for you you can do the sand casting for you uh, yeah Bradley thank you so much for doing the raid I really do appreciate you for you know not just popping in the chat but for uh, suggesting people pop in the chat I think that's all that's awesome thank you Jesse Jade nice coin thank you Aztec uh, all right market is closed market opens up on Sunday yeah I believe it's Sunday 6 p.m. Eastern is when they open up the market so here's what we're gonna do uh, let's go to I'm going to open up the window capture, right? So we'll get off of Atmex, and I'm going to take you guys to uh, find bullionprices.com. So I don't know if you guys have ever been on this site before. Put a one in the chat if you've ever seen this site before. Uh, if you have not seen this site before, put a three, right? So I'm going to walk you through it. This was groundbreaking for me. Mind you, you can still find better deals outside of this However, uh, I, I think that this is a good place to start, right? Because this will tell you based off of all of the major Boolean dealers uh, what you can find, right? What, what's the cheapest rate? So first thing I'm going to click is that silver at spot price. Now, just please note that right now, most of these silver at spot price deals are not happening. Um, they're not, what's it called? They're not, they're not running right now. Uh, it's due to uh, high demand and they there's way too much uh, money to be made on that so they're not going to do that uh silver troopers seen it before uh lap coins awesome johnny kilo has not seen this great well you're going to learn a little bit today um cool chris hodson has been out to pendleton just subs gold spartan and i want a channel round well tell me when you get your channel round dark green marine i want to buy one right it's going to be awesome uh please tell him silver husky sent you i think that i i, I firmly believe in the power of referrals uh, and how much it can do for, for any of us, so definitely let them know I sent you. Um, checking out Gold Spartan BRB, good stuff. Thanks for the congrats, Silver Game, Game of Thrones, I do appreciate you. Um, okay, Silver is holding at 28 plus, hold strong, is it really? Let me double check that. I'm seeing 24.53 on JM Boolean, so maybe you're, you may be looking at something else, uh, potentially a futures market too. Um, okay, so walking you through this, the silver at spot price deals, um, most of them out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. However, Scottsdale does currently have a 100, um, 100 ounce King Stacker giveaway. That's the one I was featuring earlier, that big honking bar. Seven pounds, guys. That is a seven pound 
beefy fat bar that you can stack up on each other. They look amazing when they're when they're stacked together. Um, and then Coin Weeks, Coin Weeks got a weekly giveaway. But yeah, all of these you're gonna see out of stock right now. They're not typically out of stock. They do typically have them in. It's just right now premiums are crazy, all kinds of stuff going on. So next one I go to, I go to cheapest silver per ounce. And in cheapest silver per ounce, um, you got the Scottsdale King Stacker, uh, and they're showing you that this one currently is at 260 over spot, which that's pretty stinging cheap. So if you have the money to blow, right? Again, not a financial advisor, but if you're looking to put on weight, to me, it almost makes more sense to buy a hundred ounce bar than to buy significantly less than a hundred ounces and still pay the same but have them be American Silver Eagles. That's just my thoughts on it. I already have a, a bunch of American Silver Eagles. I have a bunch of Maples. I have a bunch of those commonly you know, used or commonly known uh, Boolean pieces. So now I just want to stack weight. And I think that especially when premiums go up like crazy, uh, unless, sorry, when spot price goes up like crazy, unless premiums are compensating, I think you want to stay as close to spot as possible, right? Um, on it daily, but they aren't too accurate right now. Okay, Old Man Jenkins is saying this site is not very accurate. I don't think it's their fault because stock is flying off of their shelves and the prices are volatile. I, and I agree. That's the the tricky thing about these websites is they are maintained by you know people or algorithms. So let me see. There's there's one more website. Let me see if I can get it right. I think it's Reddit Silver Deals. If I can spell it right, D E A L S. Well, let's see what we got here. Silver deals on Reddit. Okay, so here uh, you can see a little bit about uh, different coins and bullion, and I'm probably getting spammed on something. Okay, let's see. Received gold on under spot from Hattons of London. Okay. Gold for gold, my LCS is trading one ounce gold Libertad, $79 over spot. So this is where you can go in, you can post a little bit about, or you can read posts of other people, uh, the things that they're, they're, they've got up right now. So you'll see right here, 10 days ago, we had Silver Gold Bull. Uh, they had their 10 ounce silver at spot bar, which is a beautiful bar, and they had them in stock, and they disappeared real quick. So just, uh, again, something to... To look at another little arrow in the quiver for those of you looking to uh, to buy bullion or anything right now. So again, uh, for my giveaway, I'll be giving away this. I'll be giving away these two, and I will potentially be giving away quite a few of these rosies. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm going to be closing up the uh, the giveaway tonight at midnight. For anybody who has not yet entered, you still do have a little bit of time. I'm going to tally up all the names and get everything all ready. I'll probably do the live stream in the afternoon. So again, if you're in the chat right now, uh, maybe around 4, 5, 6 o'clock, somewhere around there. I'm not too set on the time uh, yet. But uh, let's see. Since I had the government, bo government bonus on my unemployment up until now, I was trying to spend $100 a week. That's awesome. Yeah, that's – and you know, this stimulus – if the stimulus comes in again, not a financial advisor, but uh, if you if you're careful with that money, you can make that money go a long way. Let's just put it out there like that. Um, a lot also comes from coin hunting streams. That's good, good stuff. Um, barely have around 250 ounces total. You know, Robert Worley, I would not I would not worry about um, I would not feel down about that stack. Um, the reason I say that, the reason I say don't worry about your stack is if you've got you know, 250 ounces, you're doing better than probably 99% of society, right? Now you're not gonna be the 1% of the 1%, but you are the 1% of general population because if you walked around on the street and you polled 100 people, how many, you, how many of you have any silver at all? Some of them may have some, but most of them probably wouldn't have 250 ounces. So I'd say you're doing pretty good. Lot from, uh, smash that like button. Yeah, thank you, Nosematics. Um, what's the link for the video? Uh, for which video? Are you talking about for the one uh, the one that I was mentioning? The, let's see. Let me see if I can go on YouTube real quick. I'll probably put it in the chat for you. Um, 
so I had a couple of uh, he's asking I think about the the video I'll, I'll give you the playlist how about that um, I had a playlist that was all everything you need to know about stack and silver and I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna drop it in the chat right now let me just get this going and right here it comes okay so that's my playlist for everything you need to know about stack and silver uh, and there's several videos in there and it's gonna have even there's some videos for kids so if you guys have kids make them watch it I would force them to <laughs> I forced my uh, my eight-year-old to watch it he's here sitting next to me you can put your hand in front of the camera and say hi if you want to see he's saying hi um, he, he likes to hang out with me and he, he's really drooling over that hundred ounce bar um, he's uh, he's already claimed it in my will and if it's not in the form of a hundred ounce bar he wants whatever the equivalent in gold will be when I trade it over so uh, this one will be the legacy of my stack because he totally is all over it so it's kind of awesome but uh, Robert Worley says, I'm happy with what I have. Just wish I had a little more. I want to buy a piece of property with it. I'm with you, man. Um, you know, and let me tell you something. Uh, I was just up in the western part of Virginia, the very tip of western part of Virginia. Not West Virginia, but western Virginia where the little triangle is at the end. Uh, there was a gentleman selling 208 acres of land for $179,000, which equates to about 800 bucks an acre. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally, we could totally get that. And uh, the problem is do nothing with it because there's nothing in the area. I think the nearest Walmart is uh, like an hour and a half. So that would have been kind of interesting, an interesting uh, thing. So, um, okay, so let's see. Nosmatic says, you always have that feeling, Robert. Slow and steady wins the race. It's true. Smart kid, LOL. That's that's my, one of my, one of my pride and joys. I have so many. Um, I've invested the last stimulus into my business. That's smart. Good for you, Allie. Uh, this time we'll be investing in some silver. That's also smart. Jonathan Reese, I had a couple of good deals come my way, like full BU rolls of rosies for 80 bucks a piece. That's awesome. And what I like about the BU rosies is that they're not missing any metal. Uh, you look at these, and these are pretty, right? But let's be honest, you're gonna end up with a handful that you know they're they're worn and you stack them up together they don't they don't even sit as high as a stack of full BU rosies um, that's what I like about the BU one so Silver Husky just spoke with the gold Spartan thank you for the info awesome thank you TJ Hunt stuff uh, he's good people uh, and you'll you'll be very pleased with his work I'm telling you about an hour it took him to whip up my my channel round and he did he's just so friendly and communicative so you're gonna like that um, let's see how close are you old man Jenkins he's asking a question um, I like being away from everything and most everyone <laughs> always social distance by prefer by preference I don't blame you I do too but I also like being able to buy stuff that's one thing that's gonna bum me out if I do end up moving to I'm thinking about moving to North Carolina uh, being so far from my uh, my coin guy right my guy Gary the guy I gave the number out for earlier the best of the best he is literally the best uh, bullion dealer I've ever encountered and I'm gonna I'm gonna be so bummed if I have to like permanently have to deal with somebody else on a temporary basis whatever because then I can always go back and you know get a good deal for my guy that I trust but building up a new relationship building up trust that takes time and you know I feel like it's like you, you get a good thing going and you know you kind of get I get bummed when, when it doesn't work out too well in the end or when you have to part part ways it's like breaking up right breaking up with my coin dealer uh, not by choice um, buy the land and build your own town on it yeah you could right uh, let's see I was looking at Max Meadows Virginia in Max Meadows Virginia I don't know that area uh, I'm sure it's out west because it doesn't sound like northern Virginia yes those are Mercs they are 37 maples away and and thousands of Libertads. So you're thousands of Libertads away from your goal, I'm guessing. Uh, I, I love Libertads. They're just so pretty. Mercury's. Yep. Learn to live off the land. Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video today. Uh, we have a almost like a little mini farm outside where we have corn and zucchini and squash, all kinds of good stuff growing. So it's pretty awesome. I have the family in East and West Tennessee, both currently. That's awesome. Yeah, we're far East, far East Tennessee. 
So, yeah, check out these mercs, though, guys. These are the ones that I'm looking to give away. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them. I might do, like, one on the half hour or one on the, the, the 15 minute, maybe. So it'll uh, it'll require people be live in the chat to potentially win them. Um, and if you if you do win them, obviously I'll mail them out to you. I don't, I don't charge shipping. And you know something I'm thinking about doing. And let me let me know in the chat what you guys feel about this. Um, you know, a lot of times with the giveaways, the expectation is if you win the giveaway, you are expected to reach out to the person who held the giveaway. And claim your prize like they say oh you got 24 hours you got you know 72 hours you got a week whatever to claim your prize and if you don't claim it it goes to the alternate so question for you and how do you guys feel about this how about when the winner wins I reach out to them and I make a good faith effort to make sure that they're notified um, you know notified that that they have won something and that I will send it to them if they send me their their info. And I, I picked this up from Instagram. There was something that they do on Instagram called Christmas in July. They just did it you know, a few weeks back. And um, this gentleman, Stacking NYC, his rule is, you know, he, he has people, donors, join in on the giveaway. And it's probably like 100 ounces that are given away in total. And, uh, and he said, if you're a donor, it's on you to reach out to the, the winner and make sure that they are notified that they've won a prize. I think it's easier to reach out to people on Instagram than it is on, uh, you know, on uh, YouTube. But it's not impossible, right? If they have their own channel, or maybe you could tag them or something like that, respond to one of their comments in the uh, original comment that they made or whatever. But I like that idea, right? Robert Worley says that would be amazing. Old Man Jenkins says that sounds nice until you blow up and are too busy to reach out. Yeah, you know, but if I'm only doing a giveaway every so often, right, if you're live in the chat, you know you won, right? You know you won and I can say, hey, reach out to me. Hey, send me an email. But if you're not, like if I do a live stream and my live stream's like an hour, you know, to expect somebody, you know, people have a life, right? I, I have kids, I have things I do during, during the day, and I'm not always glued to my YouTube. I'm out there, maybe I'm filming, right? Maybe I'm a content provider. Then if nobody tells me, hey, you won this giveaway, then I'm not gonna know. And that's not really, I don't think that that's necessarily fair, and it kind of loses the spirit of the giveaway. So, um, let's see. Robert Worley, just to respond to your question about fish and game, yeah, we're actually going fishing this, this evening. Uh, so after I get off of this, we bought a can of worms. We're going to go out and hit up the river, and we're going to do some fishing, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see. Some channels you can't message on YouTube that works good on Instagram. I agree. So it may not work on in any case, right, in every case. But if they did leave a comment, I can always respond to that comment, right, and hopefully they'll see it. So it's on me as the donor, the, the one who's giving away, to make a good faith effort to try to reach out to the winner so that I can say, hey, I tried, right? I, I, I tried to give you your gift, and maybe after a reasonable amount, like a week or two weeks, then I can just, uh, what I like to do is I like to roll it over into the next giveaway. So if these aren't claimed for whatever reason, I doubt this one won't be claimed, but if these aren't claimed for whatever reason, it'll roll over into the 1,000 subscriber. I don't know, maybe I'll do a 750, which would be kind of right around the corner. Um, Dig it, Mart Metal Detecting UK. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to hit the like, guys. I know I say it a lot, but it really does help with the algorithm. And I know you guys hear that all the time, but it really does. That algorithm is kicking my butt. Um, trying to get the channel up and running so that we can. Uh, the, I can. I need better equipment. So the more uh, the more revenue I can make from this uh, this channel, the better equipment I'll get, and eventually you're going to see content similar to you know what some of the other big channels have, which I think would be amazing. I would love to do that. I think it'd be cool. So let's see. Yes, do it, says Aztec Gold. Yes, Trooper. I get I get all unclaimed prizes. Yeah, Jonathan Reese would be all over it. If I if I said, okay, if you don't claim it, it goes to Jonathan Reese. Uh, first of all, people would say rigged, and then secondly, the, Jonathan Reese would have a big stack of, uh, of silver for free, which would be cool. Um, Ali Brodeur says, Silver Husky, I think it's a good idea for a newbie like me. My first live stream was overwhelming. Yep. Uh, I had no idea what was happening or how everything worked. Yup, that too. Uh, Ali, keep keep at the live streams and hangouts on uh, coin roll hunting streams. I agree. You can win a lot on those coin roll hunting streams. Um, let's see. Stamos says, you have children. You sound like you're in your 20s. 
Funny thing, man, I actually have a 21-year-old. Uh, I have a 21-year-old son. He moved out of the house two years ago because I started to charge him rent to teach him how to get on his feet. And he was like, peace out. So now he's on his feet. So it worked. Um, I also have a uh, 16, a 14, and an 8-year-old. Uh, lots of kiddos. Uh, I know I'm shocked when he mentioned that he has kids. I plan on it. Uh, I love them. It's my only social life at the moment. I think for a lot of us, we're turning to social media to find a, you know, some way to, to speak. Silver Husky, if you need a mod, I will be willing to do that uh, where I'm available. Let's see. Where are you? Um, let me see if I can find you real quick. Robert Worley, add moderator. Done. Done and done. Text something uh, so that I can uh, see if it actually came up. Let me know if it showed up. Yep, there you go. You mod for Paul and Snacks. Those guys are cool. They, they actually were one of the first uh, shows that I ever seen. Uh, <laughs> old man Jenkins says, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. How old are you? Uh, you know, if you saw me in person, uh, even even I don't look my age. Um, I tell people I'm in my 50s and they don't believe me. I'm not in my 50s. I kind of say that to mess with people. I'm in my late 30s. Uh, I had a kid when I was like 17 and uh, and raised him. And it was fun. Uh, me and my wife raised him. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, Allie, since I got hurt, uh, it's in my social life, but it quickly came. My second family... You won't find another community better than this, and I agree. Very, very true. Uh, if anyone needs a nose, I'm here. Cool, so Nosematic will give you a nose. I'm, I'm guessing, Nosematic, I don't know enough about you, but you're in a lot of my chats. My guess is, is you can kind of sniff out a good channel. That, that'd just be my guess. So I don't know if I'm, I'm correct or not. I've witnessed all the kindness and generosity in this community. It's truly refreshing. So let me just say, Ali, um, I thought I had witnessed all the kindness and generosity in this community as well until I started making my own channel and then I realized how generous this community is I've had one-on-one -on -one video chats with several of the big names for no reason just because they were like hey let's have a chat I can help you out and they give me their tips and I'm like why would you help me out it doesn't do anything for you but then they kind of help me understand that the, the reality behind this community is the more people are producing content, that means there's going to be a lot more awareness around the whole arena, more excitement built around it, more people buy into it, more people buying these coins. Show them your favorite coin, Silver Husky. This little guy, is, he's, he's the real Silver Husky. I just kind of stole his name. Out of all these, which one do you think is your favorite? See, he even moved the gold aside because he knew that which one? This one? Yeah, see, he even knows. He's, he's not a dummy, right? He knows that this is worth more than that gold. Gold looks cool, but let's be honest. This, yeah, he came in picking up. <laughs> Don't crush my coins. All right, he stole it. It's gone forever, guys. But, um, but yeah, that's the whole point is getting the next generation or getting people in general excited and teaching them about the coins. So the more people that produce content, the better. Hold on, I want you to smash your fingers on that. Guys, speaking of smashing, smash that like button. There we go. You smash the like button. You guys can do it too. I believe in you. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the whole point, right? The whole point is to get more people into it, and that's why the other people in the community are willing to carve time out of their lives with no expectation of compensation to help us learn what we're doing, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Ali said, just turned 51, and everyone thinks I'm in my late 30s. That's awesome. I love people, telling people how old I am and watching their jaws drop. Yeah, it's, you should see my wife. You, you won't see my wife because I won't do a phase reveal, but my wife still looks like she's in her 20s, uh, which is amazing. And when I say 20s, I mean like 22. So like people see me with her, and they're like, okay, you must you must have a lot of money or something. Because <laughs> she's, she's extremely attractive too, uh, but she also looks very young. So I look like one of those... You know, old dudes with a young, uh, I guess, young gold digger. But she's been with me from the start, so she's my my ride or die. Um, LAP looks like a puma. Um, I see all the time. Good person from what I have seen. What round do you have in the top right? What round is that? I don't think I have any rounds out here. 
yeah that's so I have I have a couple I'll, I'll pull these ones out if you want to see these uh, they're not they're not rounds they're they're coins uh, I'm not sure which one you were talking about but let me know which one you mean uh, LAP I think that was you LAP the coin community is amazing thank you for those kind words Robert much appreciated uh, I don't know if Jonathan Reese has been a mod yet but someone who deserves a chance yep he is uh, thank you, Robert. But yes, I'm a mod in a lot of community. And I love it. He's a good people. I trust him, right? Um, how will I see you? I am in Greece. <laughs> no, I get it. Uh, Stamos, but I don't, I don't want anyone to see me. Uh, that's kind of why I deleted my first channel the first time around, because uh, I did too many face reveals, and it's really not necessarily safe. So, at least, at least for me. Show them what? Okay, so there is a gentleman who's kind of popping in and out of the chat his name is silver game of thrones and he has a coin uh for his uh his channel sticker and it's the destiny knight round and it is a beautiful two ounce round it's actually my son the original silver husky it's his favorite so um he wants me to tell you guys to check it out my son wants me to let's get past the face reveal and show them mine from the first video <laughs> yeah that's true uh let's see now it's the left okay so now it's on the left side are you talking about this one or kookaburra i don't know which one you're talking about man um no i think he's saying it's on the left I, I don't know it's either you're either talking about the tiger or you're talking about the rhino so the tiger is a year of the tiger that's a lunar uh perth mint lunar tiger uh, i get hit on by young guys all the time but i'm no cougar that's funny uh, I, I don't get hit on by young guys for some reason. Maybe I'm too scruffy. I don't know. Uh, or maybe they can just obviously tell that I'm super married. I'm extremely married, which is awesome. Love being married, guys. I don't know about you guys, but it's a, it's a blessing. Love being a dad, too. It's pretty, pretty fun. Uh, the one that looks like a puma. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that is the, the tiger. Yeah, that's Year of the Tiger from the Perth Mint. I give you a little bit of a close-up look. Uh, I just dropped a video on this one yesterday, so go back in my video feed and you can see it um, posted yesterday morning. It's a pretty coin, right? Regular uh, queen on that side, and this one right here. And this is from 2010. That's a cool one. All right. Um, <laughs> cougar. I'm older than I look myself, but I feel way older. That's no fun. Uh, do you have a gold sovereign? I do not have a gold sovereign. I know there's the the ones from the British Royal Mint are pretty neat too. Yeah, you can show off some of the coins, guys. This is a little silver husky. He's gonna show you off some of the coins. Make sure you put it in front of the camera here. You can check on here if it's in the camera. There you go. All right. Um, please remember to smash that like button and please subscribe as well. Yes, please do that. Right. Punch the like button. Just don't crack your phone. Um, let's see. I'm partial to that year of the mouse and rat. That's uh, that's this year. Yeah, you were close with the puma. They're all similar, right? Uh, so nice. If you're on a cell phone, you do not see a like button. Please close the chat and like, and then reopen chat. Great, great instruction. Thank you, guys. Um, I am going to uh, enjoy the rest of my day. It just happened to be sunny right now. It's about 5:40 in the afternoon here in Tennessee and I would love to go fishing if I get any good photos of my fishing uh, with my kids I will show them to you guys and uh, let me just show you this is the taco muffin don't forget taco muffin and guys please remember that if you have not entered into the giveaway it closes at midnight tonight so I can't stress enough please enter into the giveaway because I love that participation and I'm looking forward to show them what we're gonna be giving away show them this one Right, and guys, check check this out real quick. This is a for those of you just joining, right? A Confederate half dollar copy, right? So it looks like the Seated Liberty from the United States, but on the back side it actually says uh, Confederate States of America, which is kind of awesome. Uh, and it's half dollar, but it is a copy, so I may be gawing this one away. I just picked it up today from the from the pawn shop. So show them this one. What, what is what this one is go ahead put it in the so he, he go ahead you ask them so put it in what do you think this coin is all right if you guys know what this is put your answer in the chat 
Um, and he's not going to flip it over. He's just going to show you the queen, right? Do you know the queen's name? Elizabeth. Very good. It says on the top. Oh, you can read. That That, that, that helps, I guess. Guys, I taught him how to read. I taught it myself. <laughs> I taught uh, myself. Yeah, he taught himself. Allie, we actually we, we caught the fattest trout not too long ago uh, over here. Yes, I do fish. I love fishing. I have a video, uh, 4th of July, where we caught a big old bass. It was pretty cool. Uh, okay, so that's a maple. All right, old man Jenkins got it right. Show them the next one. Okay, so... You got you to gotta flip this one over and then show them that one. All right, guys, what is this one? I the, love her nostrils. Nice. So the biggest trout I've ever caught is was about two feet. Two feet long? Yeah. It was a big guy. Yeah. It's a big guy. What's your favorite fish to eat? Flounder. Flounder. You guys hear that? It's because he probably hasn't had cobia yet. I don't know if you guys have ever tried cobia. That is butter. That is so good. All right, guys, this one right here, what is this? Go ahead, flip it over. Let's show him. Kangaroo! Yeah, old man Jenkins got it right. And then the last giveaway prize, that one right there. And I bet you, little silver husky, do you even know what was the original name of these coins? What do we call them? What do we call those? Ones? A Libertad? No, that's not a Libertad. Go ahead, show the camera so they can see it. It's a dime, right? Do you know what kind of dime? A Mercury dime. Mercury dime. Nickname, we call it a Merc dime, right? All right, put it a little bit lower so they can see it. There you go. And so, one of these dimes... So, there's a dime that... It's a 1916D, and that's like a $10,000 coin. 1916D is a $10,000 coin. Mind you, this guy is eight, and he's telling me that there's a 1916D Mercury Dime that's worth $10,000, guys. This is the future of the coin collecting community, numismatics, silver stacking, and you guys are getting to witness it right now. So, kind of awesome. Yeah, so look, they're saying they caught a five pound bass, flounder's yummy, uh, is the goat video. It, the gaw, no. So Robert Worley, the, the goat video is not part of the gaw. Uh, that was after, uh, it's before that video. It's, it's several videos before that video. Uh, yes, the correct answer, Mr. Little Silver Husky, uh, Coin Silver answered, it's called a winged liberty head. So we started calling it Mercury Dime because people thought it looked like the god Mercury, but actually this is Lady Liberty with a cap on her head and it has a wing on it. So it's a winged Liberty dime, right? But we can call it a Merc. That's okay. The knowledge comes out of the mouth of the babes. That is basically it. Yeah, my kid's awesome. All of my kids are awesome. They're, they're pretty. They impress me sometimes. I'm like, really? Yesterday, my daughter cracked a joke. We were watching a movie and uh, there was a scene where the, the, guy, the guy was telling the other guy that he can't he can't do something and the other guy was like I can I can I can do it I can make it and then uh, out of nowhere my daughter yells out you think you can do these things but you just can't Nemo and we just started laughing our butts off because she's like she's quoting movies you know even it's a cartoon but she quoted a movie and I was like that is my daughter she like perfectly placed perfectly timed but anyways I gotta get to the water um, I may be taking a couple videos and I'll sneak them into another one of the, the coin videos coming up here real soon. But I uh, hope you guys had a great time. I really love this community and I appreciate every one of you. Please hit the like button. Uh, do I like Silver Picker? I think Silver Picker is great, by the way. Stamos, thank you very much for asking that. Um, but yeah, is it the hacked gaw? Great question. It's not the hacked gaw, but there may be a clue in one of those videos. So there's, there's two videos that have... Uh, the giveaway clues in it. Um, one of them has relatively nothing to do with precious metals. And the other one uh, has to do with, all I can give you is it has to do with stacking. So it is a stacking video. So uh, if you guys find them, you got till midnight, good luck. That's as much hints as I can give you guys. Uh, love you guys. Hope you all have a great, great day. And I will see you tomorrow on the live stream. Peace out.